He is one step closer to packing up its American headquarters in California and driving to Texas. The city of Plano, outside of Dallas, has given final approval now to a 6.7 million economic incentive package for Toyota. The move is a coup for Texas, which is on an aggressive campaign to lure companies there. It also boosts the state's emergency as a, emergence as a key player in America's auto industry. The Lone Star State already ranks sixth in automotive manufacturing jobs. Electric car maker Tesla is another target of Texas. The state wants to be home to Tesla's new battery factory. Texas is one of four finalists vying, vying for what Tesla is calling the Gigafactory. And it's expected to create as many as 6,500 jobs. And Texas Governor Rick Perry says he'll do whatever it takes to lasso Tesla. That's just the latest example of his push to make Texas the place to be for businesses. Joining us now from Dallas is Glenn Hunter, executive editor of D Magazine. And Glenn, uh, tell us a little bit about what Texas is doing to, to get them there. Well, they've been very aggressive. Uh, Toyota was actually was looking to uh, make a move. Uh, you know, they're the largest automaker in the world, but in the U.S., they're number uh, three behind General Motors and Ford. So, and they've had some problems with uh, natural disasters in Japan and, and some safety and recall problems. Uh, and beyond that, uh, they have recognized that their leadership functions in the United States have been sort of have been scattered about the country. Uh, some uh, engineering and manufacturing in Kentucky, sales and marketing in Southern California, Torrance, and uh, some functions in New York. So they, under the relatively new CEO Jim Lentz, they want, made this decision, which is a very bold decision, to centralize all their operations in one headquarters and move more to the center of the country. Was there anything specific, though, other than the economic incentive that Plano was able to offer the company? Well, uh, there, there were four, uh, four main contenders uh, that, that Plano beat out, Denver, uh, Atlanta, and Charlotte, North Carolina. But Plano, Plano's central location, we're right smack in the middle of the country here. Uh, it was a, a huge plus. Uh, most of the Toyota manufacturing plants are in the south, so this gets them closer to that. Plus, Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport uh, next to Plano is a, was a, a very big advantage because they offer uh, something like nine or ten daily flights to Japan, and then the executives can also hop to either coast in a very short period of time. So that was major as well. What's the economic impact going to be now for the Dallas area? Well, it, uh, it, it is huge. Uh, Toyota, uh, a huge company like Toyota coming to this area uh, is, is going to have a, a ripple effect uh, on uh, housing, uh, 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 shops, uh, uh, buying restaurants. Uh, every, everyone in this Plano area and North Dallas uh, will benefit uh, from having a company like this. There's going to be 4,000, uh, roughly 4,000 new employees here, and they're well-paid jobs. Uh, the reports are that uh, uh, the average salary might be in the six-figure area for these uh, good white-collar jobs. Obviously, uh, it's great for Dallas, but it's also a bad news for California, right? I mean, isn't it a, a problem that uh, what, it's not exactly like Dallas is, is creating jobs. It's more like it's simply moving jobs from California to the Lone Star State. Well, some, some of the, there will be, companies are looking to cut costs and to become more competitive. And when they do that, they will be able to create more jobs than they currently have. Uh, so that was a, a, a major factor in, in Toyota's thinking, so that they can become more competitive. Uh, Texas has low cost of living. Uh, there is no state income tax for the employees. Uh, uh, and a number of advantages, a, a, a light regulatory hand uh, as opposed to California. And uh, so uh, all those things factored in, they, they got coming to grip with their coming to grips with their costs, they can do it, they feel much better in Texas than in California. Glenn Hunter, executive editor of D Magazine. Glenn, thanks for being on the program. We appreciate it.